As the old Otago University chant goes, scabies, scabies, at least it isn't rabies. OK, not a real chant, but an outbreak of scabies at the Dunedin student hotspot is all too real. Part of a wider spread across the South Island. And it can be a barrier to performing your academic best, being able to study properly, being able to socialise and see your friends without feeling like you might possibly pass something like scabies onto them. Spreading through human contact and sharing clothes and linen, scabies is an itchy rash caused by these parasitic mites. They burrow into the top <laughs> layer of skin where they lay their eggs and feed on skin cells and bodily fluids. No, please just make it stop. But over-the-counter stocks of medication have dried up across the country. We've heard from students trying to find spare scabies topical cream that might be lying around at their friends' flats because they haven't been able to find any in chemists around Dunedin. So why is scabies on the rise? What do you do when you start to feel the itch? I got a feeling inside of me. Let's uh, get some answers. Dr Angus Chambers joins us now. Uh, uh, doctor, this outbreak is happening predominantly amongst students. Is it because they're unwashed? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. Uh, it's, look, it's scabies spreads amongst people who live closely together, so families, uh, you know, children, um, uh, but young people often in flats, I guess, can sometimes get into close quarters. Everyone always has a bit of a laugh about scabies, like, ooh, scabies, but it can get quite serious, can't it? Well, it's a pretty unpleasant condition. I mean, it, it, it's not likely to be uh, life-threatening, although when you get an infection in the rash, that can sometimes be quite nasty. But uh, it's just the thought of little mites crawling around in your skin. Yeah. Yep, that's a thought I don't want to think about. Uh, so how do we eradicate these things forever? Well, the way to get rid of them when you've got a, an, a, an infection with a scabies mite is to use usually an insecticide cream. Um, and you've got to be quite diligent about how you apply it. If you leave patches of your skin are untreated, then it can still uh, escape the treatment. Uh, if, you, if you go and wash your hands during the period that you're meant to be treated, you've got to reapply it. So you've got to be quite careful with the treatment. But if you do it properly, usually that can get rid of it. And will I need to do any sort of follow-up treatment in the in the in terms of I don't know setting fire to all my clothes and the contents of my home? <laughs> Look, it's actually it, it's pretty rare for it be, to be spread off other surfaces, but yeah, certainly not sharing um, towels and things with people. Um, you, you, you need a follow-up treatment because the uh, you, the first treatment kills the mites, but there still might be eggs that hatch out, so you've oh. got to kill the next generation. I oh. wish you hadn't said eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr Angus, um, you've talked about treatment for this, but how tough is it to get the right lubes and creams at the moment? What's the supply chain like? Well, not good. Uh, there's a big shortage, at least here in Christchurch, and I, I understand it's throughout the country. Uh, and I, I have heard yesterday that there's a, a shipment coming in at the end of April, but, you know, some of my patients have really struggled to get the treatment. In fact, haven't been able to get it. So that's quite problematic. Well, we appreciate your advice and for letting us know that Kano is susceptible to the word eggs. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this evening. No trouble. It's so gross, Jackie Brown. You are not gross. Well, Welcome to the desk. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. You're feeling okay after your big trip to LA? No itches or scratches you need to tell us about? Well, I feel like there's something wrong with me because I've never had scabies. I've never had anything like that. I feel like maybe they just don't like me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. Hey, and I also just want to point out that even though the mite, the, the little scaby mite with its seven bums and its evil spawn, even though that makes me feel sick, I'm mad at the might, not at the people that have the unfortunate Correct. scenario of getting the rash. Everyone gets a little mite or a little kutu or something in their mm -hmm. life. It just, it's just facts. But yeah, get make. them out. It, does, it makes your skin crawl cool a little bit, doesn't it, talking about them, which is literally your skin is crawling. Cool. Well, uh, no, but, but I think the name doesn't help. Scabies. It sounds mm. like if they're called poppy flubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got poppy flub. A poppy flub is burrowing into you and laying eggs. Fine. Cute. Fine. Cute. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, come on, we no. want it. Scabies. Fine. Ugh. Can we stop talking about that? Um, sure. Good luck. I hope you get your creams and everything you on.